Hi, beautiful. Today we're watching people get Korean digital perms. And if you have no idea what that is, I don't blame you because neither do I. I mean, I have an idea. I know what it looks like. I know it's very interesting. Also, I have no idea how it works. I don't know what this whole contraption is that they put on people's heads. The entire thing is mind blowing. You're gonna be like, why and why are we doing it? But that also makes me very intrigued. I am very open to learning new techniques. I actually love learning new techniques. So let's do it, shall we? By the way, I just launched a jewelry collection. Ah! with Vitaly. I'm obsessed, obviously, I created it. All of these pieces come in silver and gold. I'm so excited um, to have been able to create something for you guys to wear. You know, I'm obsessed with jewelry. I always have chains on and I always wanted to create a pearl necklace that had half chains on it with a little pendant X. Like, it's such a dream. I can't wait to see you guys wearing it. So if you would like to check out the collection, it's linked right here. First video up is by Riza Katawi and um, we're gonna check it out. She's getting a digital perm, woo! First up, shampoo muna tayo. Okay, the usual process for a perm. Oh, this salon is not kidding with the PPE. We're doing layers, right? Yeah. Too, looks like too heavy and like very hard to maintain. Also, no volume. So, yeah. Uh, it's better. A little bit layer this much. Yes. Yeah. We're already getting weird here. There's things I already don't know. So she's getting a root perm, which I'm pretty sure it is a, is a way of giving her like volume at the top of her head. I mean, that's what it looks like. So I'm gonna go with that. This is art, man. This is seriously art. <laughs> What is that? Digital perm is so recently we're using the like a uh, little bit short length. Why is it called digital? Using heat or something, so that's why digital perm like this. They go in and then... So she's saying that a digital perm just means that you're using heat through the perm rods to make a process faster. As well as like the digital aspect comes from there being a digital screen on that heat thingy, mbobber machine thing. This thing looks like it's about to perform surgery on her. I mean, she literally looks like she's in a surgical office about to get something done and there's about to be a machine working on her. Like this is scary. I'm interested though. Oh, hell no. We're gonna have to make this contraption look a little bit cuter. You're telling me strangers, they just walk in and they're like, I want a digital perm and you put them in this chamber? You put them in this torture device? I mean, you do you, whatever gets you that money, girl. But like, this is scary. Okay, so we'll neutralizer na tayo, so. We're neutralizing. This is artistry though, I will say. This is beautifully done. The wrapping on this is impeccable. She has two people working on her at one time. I mean, it's beautiful. I mean, she's getting the little root bump going on. On, and then she's getting the curls in the ends. I feel like it's gonna be a really great result. And I'm excited to see how well the digital perm like curls the hair. Is it like tight curls? Is it loose? Is it somewhere in between? I don't know. Wow, this looks mad uncomfortable. <laughs> Oh, whoa, those curls look beautiful. I love a good perm. When you take those rods out and you have an actual like spiral curl, you're like, Look at the volume on her roots too. It's looking delicious. Okay, now we're drying the hair with something else that's digital. So we we'll leave this on for 15 <laughs> minutes. Apparently, like in order to blow dry this, you literally just twist the hair as you blow dry and it gives you like gorgeous curls slash waves. You really don't, don't have to do anything to your hair. That's amazing. Oh, oh my God, God, look at my hair. It's a baggy Yeah, thing. it looks so beautiful. Yeah. If you want to some bigger or something, you can just twist out like that. Do you see the volume she has? She did not even get a blowout, guys. She got a rough dry and her hair looks this good. This is crazy. This is Today's post treatment na aking perm. Ooh, it looks wonderful. Ooh, guys, look at the gorgeous body on her hair. Wow. Okay, I, what is that? What is that? A torch? Is this something that I recommend ko or worth it, basha? In my opinion, if you're looking for volume, for structure, for effortless hair pagigising, a hundred percent yes. I am obsessed. Are you kidding me? That looks like her natural hair texture and I am living for it. Like absolutely to die for, gorgeous, fabulous. Mm, that was beautiful. Except I still really wanna know more about what a digital perm is. Let's go to the next video and hopefully that helps us. Next up we have Mr. Guy Tang. What's up guy, how you doing? Amy, I think she has some type of color in her hair. So this is gonna be a paranormal activity situation. So there are different rods here. There's like some bigger, some smaller, 
smaller, different sizes, as you can see here. And the bigger one kind of has this little, what do you call this, like USB type of attachment so you can stick it inside of the, the tentacles. Okay, that looks like an auxiliary jack, not a USB. <laughs> Nevertheless, it's weird. Very intriguing indeed. I mean, I want to put that on my head. I want to get the waves. I want these things on my head and I want to get the waves because this looks weird and I like weird things. So you guys can kind of attach it into that, into the tentacles, and then you get your digital perm set. So I'm excited to see how this works and I can't wait to share with you guys. Okay, this machine looks a lot more aesthetically pleasing, I will say. Right now we're pre-treating the hair with the ATS Amino Matrix. It's a pre-treatment to even out the porosity and this is a crucial step to maintain the integrity of the hair because her ends are very porous. Um, if you take a look at her ends here, the porosity are very, very dry. So the pre-treatment stage is a must. My favorite thing about being a stylist is like, it's the only place where you can just tell somebody that their hair is just destroyed. You're like, your ends, they're dry, they're crusty, they're gonna fall off, they look terrible. <laughs> and like, the client doesn't care. They're like, okay, yeah, you're right. Cut it all off. I'm like, all right, girl, I got you. And she's gonna go back in and apply the stronger formula up there, which I think is really, really smart. Okay, so you can literally like mix these formulas. You can use the stronger formula on the roots and the lighter formula on the ends. That way your hair's integrity stays intact during this whole process. And guys, if you're gonna do a perm, please be careful because it is very harsh to your hair. Pretty much no matter what type of perm you do, it's very harsh, I should say, because it is literally snapping the bonds of your hair and reforming them into a different shape. It can really destroy your hair. And that's why we don't recommend doing it with people who have like bleached hair or compromised hair in general, so. Okay, we're going in and we're doing the most satisfying part of all. We're rolling that up. Oh, and they're doing it to her root. So she's gonna get a lot of bounce in her hair. She's gonna get that curl, the bounce, the goodness. Also, a different thing with these perms is like all of these crisscrosses. Normally, like with a regular perm, you wouldn't want to crisscross stuff that much. You'll end up with like lines in the hair. I don't know how they stop it from doing that. I mean, she might just end up with lines in her hair. I don't know. It's important that all of the jack is on one side. So when you plug it into the digital perm machine, you can actually put and plug it in all here so it doesn't get all tangled up. Something about having electricity connected connected to your wet hair running through rods feels a little dangerous for me. Maybe not for you, but for me, I don't know. It feels a little scary. It's a little like, woo. I don't know. <laughs> so you're dragging it lower, so she'll be a little bit straighter at the top, and most of the curl will be at the bottom. So if you want the curl to be higher in yeah. different areas, you can move the curl higher up yeah. here. Take a look at the finished product. Ooh. Take a look at the rubber band here. Most of you guys would be freaking out right now, thinking the rubber band will create a crease yes. in the perm of the curl, but it actually doesn't. It's only the revolution of the curl that's wrapped inside of this clay rod is where you're gonna see the curl takes its place. That's pretty cool. So the girls are putting these heat protectant pads on and what they do here, it creates a steam incubation inside of each rod, which protects the hair. I know, I know what you guys are thinking. This seems to be like a lot of work. Literally though, I thought they were done. We're on to like step 15. Oh my God, this is a lot. The best part, when they connect all the aux cords <laughs> her head and it just starts playing music. She's like <laughs> Her head just starts like shaking because the music's so loud. This is spooky, man. I'm gonna do it, guys. I'm gonna push the button. Oh, she's gonna blow up. <laughs> just kidding. This is a smaller rod than the topper area. So we're gonna take these out, make it a little bit loosen, blends in with the others. Okay, because you don't want them to be tight at the yeah. bottom. Oh, it's time to take them out. Mm, my favorite part, the most satisfying part of all. So we want those to be softer right down on the ends. Whoa. When you pull out from the rod, it always looks scary tight, but what you'll realize is gonna look more natural after Loosen. It loosens up. I wonder why that is because like with regular perms it usually stays how it looks We just neutralize it and did a treatment on it. That is Use so it pretty buffer, And you can see the natural curl in her hair was damp here. So it looks really really pretty. Wow And like I said earlier, it's kind of healthier now than it was before. It does. It looks better I was gonna say that what what is this sorcery? You can't believe it, huh? Mm -hmm. Look at this. Look at that. Look at that texture. <laughs> Wow, that's sick. Look at that natural curl, t I said natural curl texture. It's digital perm, but it looks natural. It is so pretty. I'm obsessed. What? I want that. I want everything, but I can't have everything. That is incredible. I literally want a digital perm immediately. Except my hair is too short and too damaged to do that, so I can't. 
unfortunately. Shall you watch one more? Let's just do it, right? This video is by Tina Young. Look how healthy it is. She's never colored her hair. So this is a hairdresser's dream. It seems like everybody's kind of getting different versions of this perm. So it's really cool to see all the different variations and ways you can get a digital perm. Like if I were y'all out there, I'd be going digital. The perm cream, also known as the perm softener, is applied about two inches away from her roots. This helps to maintain her natural root volume and doesn't make the hair too flat. Basically breaks up the bonds in the hair so that it can be molded into another shape. If you go in to straighten your hair or to have your hair rebonded, it's pretty much the same thing. This solution helps to break up those natural bonds in your hair first so that if you want your hair straight or curly, it can be molded into those shapes. Zen's hair is then wrapped up and left for five minutes. Jameson comes to check on how the hair is processing. He does another knot test. This time he wants to see if the hair stays in a knot because that means the hair perm softener is working. He also does a bend test to see if the hair stays bent after folding it. These are little tests he does along the way just to make sure the hair is processing and in the right condition before we move on to the next step. So we're breaking the bonds, but the hair is laid down straight. This whole thing is very confusing because everybody's doing differently. He said that we probably needed to wait another five minutes, but to speed things up, he's going to use this heat machine. It kind of reminded me of when, you know, when you have super bleached hair and it becomes like this stringy, stretchy texture when it's wet. It reminded me of that. Oh my God, I don't like that at all. That would freak me out. I'm sorry. Literally the porosity of her hair is just completely f***ed up and on purpose, but um, nevertheless, f***ed. You see the guy stretching her hair out and how stretchy it was? <laughs> Scary. We're going to apply another layer of the perm cream just to ensure that it's in the right condition before we apply the next step. This is spooky. Bingo, we are good to go. The perm cream is thoroughly washed off. This is the most odd perm moment I've ever seen. We are washing this off? Wouldn't this make her hair straight? I'm so lost. And her hair is blow dried. I'm so lost. Once the hair is completely dry, Jameson is going in with a straightener just to smooth out the top section. As I mentioned before, Zen has a natural wave at the top. So to make the perm look neater, he's going to straighten out those parts. Okay, so he's basically giving her like a permanent straightening treatment in combination with a perm. Okay, artsy. Again, you can do this thing so many ways, it seems like. There's two sizes here, some medium ones and a slightly larger roller. He's going to start off with the back, sectioning some hair and then wetting the ends with a hair protectant spray. Then Jameson sandwiches the hair between two pieces of perm paper and he neatly rolls the hair up. He stops about midway or just a little bit higher than midway. Yo, this guy's got the hands of a god. This piece goes over the roller to prevent any indentations. And then the hair is secured with a rubber band. He makes it look so easy, you guys. It's not that easy. And the comb, oh, ooh, that is satisfying, I will say. I love these little hair blankets. It's my favorite part. You just gotta like tuck the hair in, like doo -doo. Now we're ready to plug the rollers into the machine. This just helps to heat up each roller to about 85 degrees Celsius. I feel like I'll never get used to how scary this machine is. After that, the rollers are ready to come out. Look at those sexy curls. Ooh. Jameson is going in with the straightener now just to smooth out the top section so there's no weird bumps anywhere. We're almost done with the process. We're neutralizing and we're about to see the final result. Oh, I'm so stoked. Next, a foam perm neutralizer is used on the ends. It does the same thing, but this is a lighter version. So it's gonna hold the curl still. It's not going to add too much weight that the curl straighten out. She needs to dry the roots of her hair completely before moving on to the midsection and ends. For those sections, she has two options. She can either twist them and then let them air dry naturally, or she can twist and blow dry as she goes. The way this guy's just whipping that hair around, like, it's impressive. I'm intimidated and I want him to do my hair. For the fringe, Jameson also shared a few tips. <gasps> 
first you want to blow Whoa. dry the mask down then to the left then to the right and then let it cool over the face or hit it with some cool air to quickly cool it down then blow back the hair and that's going to create volume you're telling me this is just a rough dry finally some hair serum is applied to smooth and add shine and ta-da what i'm actually amazed as to how easy it was to style her hair that was without a round brush like he used just his hands to do that what zen's hair looks amazing and it's still very soft and healthy to touch it doesn't feel dry or overly processed oh my god it looks stunning <gasps> oh my god Wow. Oof. If that didn't leave you wanting a um, Korean perm, I don't know what will. I mean, like, that was the coolest thing ever. If you have the hair for it, you better get on that. That was... I just saw my life flash before my eyes. I thought I was gonna die. I almost just fell off my chair. Anyways, that was super cool. Obsessed. I wanna learn how to do this better. That was everything I could've asked for. If you guys like check out the jewelry that I have on right now, it is part of my Vitaly collection that I designed and I'm very excited about it. So check it out, linked below. Also follow me everywhere else here on my social media handles, including X Mondo and X Mondo Color, my hair color and hair care brands. They're also linked below for you if you'd like to check them out. That is all for today, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Don't don't forget to live your extra life. And I'll see you next time. Bye, beautiful.